All right, Bernard, I wanted to ask you a few more questions uh, today, just a few uh, different topics. But um, I'm curious to know what your thought or your, your prediction is for Gervonta Davis versus Lamont Roach, a potential opponent for Floyd. Um, with when, when that fight's supposed to be canceled. Uh, I don't they said, it's they back said it's supposed again. to be they said it's supposed to be moved to January. But a potential oh, next year. Yeah yeah. Um listen, Tank Davis is is not the guy to beat in, in, in boxing as a superstar. Um, as they say the face of boxing and then they said others might be the face of boxing. But Tank Davis to me, um, it's gonna get anybody problems. It, it's the burden is on Roach or anybody else. In this case, is Roach. The burden is on him, based on um, Tank's uh, achievements and what he have done. And this is Roach really. I know about the amateurs, but this is really his biggest moment in boxing, as far as on a pro level. On a pro level, he will come in as the underdog, based on popularity and based on um, the record that Tank has, and justifiably so. But anything can happen uh, in this uh, world of boxing, and both guys got to come in the way they need to come in. Tank and I underestimate Roach. Roach is a real good, good fighter, boxer, um, counter puncher, and he has some confidence from the amateur, just like Ryan Garcia with Devin Haney. That muscle memory of memory don't go away. I like that. That muscle memory of memory doesn't go away. Um, yeah. Another fight that obviously has kind of ruffled a little bit of feathers has been the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight. Um, what do you make of it? I, I think it's a, a, a great entertainment um, way of showing um, the world that, you know, that's entertainment and what I've done and what I'm promoting right now in Golden Boy, my partner Oscar De La Hoya, is it's entertainment, this is entertainment, but it's also boxing on the highest dangerous level. And um, you, can't, uh, you can't copy that in any way of pretending. See, you don't pretend in this sport. You play basketball, you play football, you play hockey, you play soccer, you play golf, but you don't play boxing. Boxing is a sport that you don't play. Do you think that Jake Paul could beat Mike Tyson? I think any of them can beat each other if they have the right strategy and go in there with the right intent to, to actually beat each other up or try to beat each other up and make it what people believe it is, entertainment, but I don't think they're gonna go all the way out. Okay. I think it's gonna be sweat, maybe some blood, but I don't think that it's gonna be something that we're used to seeing, if you're saying it's boxing. But if it's entertainment, then you're gonna get what you're supposed to get, is entertainment. Were you surprised that it was, it's now actually sanctioned as a professional fight and not an exhibition fight? Not in this sport. Normally the people that make the rules is normally the people that breaks them. So in this situation, um, somebody believes it should be named and give it some credibility even more. I'm not surprised what happens in boxing. I'm only surprised when it don't happen. Okay. Deep, ain't it? Pretty deep, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, lastly, I need to know what your opinion is on Alexander Usyk versus Tyson Fury's rematch coming up in Saudi Arabia. Do you like see that Usyk fight going any differently? Uh, no. 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 I, I, think, I think the smaller guy is really the big guy in heart and big guy in talent. I just think that, and I've been with Tyson Fury uh, when he fought most of the people he fought for is uh, picking him to win. Um, but I, I, I believe Usi has his number, and I believe that he's not a big heavyweight, which I think helps him in this particular fight. And I just think he has the IQ that Tyson Fury won't be able to keep up and withstand <laughs> as time or rounds go on. I just like Usi possibly by stoppage late, and not by a punch. I think it'd just be a mercy call by the referee. Okay. Uh, actually, one more, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, Eddie Hearn has mentioned a possible five versus five 
uh, Matchroom versus Golden Boy Promotions, you know, him and Oscar go back and forth. He said that he would end Golden Boy's promotions in one night. Would you like to respond to that? Yeah, I think it should be four versus four, and Oscar and Eddie Hearns would be the five. <laughs> I really, I think that'd be really, I think it'd be cute, and I think it'd be uh, promotable. Yeah. Yeah. More than promotable. Extremely promotable. <laughs> All right. Take Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank All you. Right. Bye, bye, fans. Right. Thank you. Thank you.